You guys, it's field trip day. And I and I'm doing this and I am making Mississippi chicken. I have like five minutes to show you exactly what I'm making because we are running out the door. This is how I make it. So I have a package of chicken and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the crock pot. And I actually have two packages. Uh, this is just the first one. I'm gonna put it in there, stir it up, grab the second package, and then put it in there. And there are six pounds of chicken total. Then I'm gonna grab two packets of ranch dip. And I'm just gonna open those and sprinkle those right on top, nothing special. Just one at a time, sprinkle them on top. Then two packages of Anjou gravy. Now for each package, you sprinkle that on top as well, for each package of uh, the ranch dip or the au jus, I add a tablespoon of pepperoncini peppers. So here's one, and here's the second one. That's it, it's all done. Let me show you. There you go, all the chicken in there, everything sprinkled on it, pepperoncini peppers. You could probably put maybe a cup of water in there uh, just to just to add a little moisture and I might actually go ahead and do that, but that's it. I'm gonna put this lid on and I'm gonna cook it on low for eight hours and we'll come home and it'll be done. Okay, so it is the evening and eight hours have passed. So I'm gonna show you what the Mississippi chicken looks like. Okay, here's the pot, I'm gonna open it. So I was editing my Mississippi chicken video and I lost the end footage, but essentially you could see how beautiful the chicken looked. My take on it was though, I used six pounds of chicken in the video and when I made that, and I actually think for two packets, you really ought to only use four pounds of chicken, or if you're doing six pounds like I was, you should do three packets of the ranch and three packets of the au jus, and then three tablespoons of the pepperoncini, because I think it was just a little less flavorful than it usually is. But um, it, you can mix it up according to your family's preferences, but it's this super simple recipe, and I hope you guys will try it. So anyway, that's it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it because there's way more details there. And uh, here over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by and we'll see you next time. Bye.